Hey there, and welcome back to Live Chat University. In today's lesson, we're gonna be learning about the traffic section and the team section. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to go to our sidebar and open up the traffic section. It shows the list of current visitors on the website in real time. It gathers all sorts of useful data about your customers, and you can use the data to personalize your messages to them. You can look at the traffic section and, for example, discover stalling customers by examining their last page and time spent on pages. You can consider offering more information or a small discount if they're on the help or product page. Now, other key insights include location and email, assigned agent groups, number of visits and chats, and device information. These factors can help identify engaged customers and optimize your live chat experience. There's a lot of valuable information you can find in the traffic section and a lot of data. That's why customizing what data should be displayed in the traffic section is something you'll want to do. So here's how you can do it. Setting filters. At the top of the traffic section, you can find filters. Now you can use them to find and target very specific groups of users. For instance, users who have visited your website, so numbers of visits is greater than or equal to three times, let's say. Click on apply. And I'll also choose from a specific country. Once again, click on apply. Now add more values if you feel like you need them. Now when using filters, you can decide if you want the data to match all filters or any of them. And that's it. You can apply more filters by repeating these steps. Now, if there are combinations of filters you use often, you can save such a combination as a segment. With so many options, it would be really painful to set up the filters over and over again every time you log into live chat. So, that's why we have segments. At the top of the traffic section, you can see six segments. Each one represents one of six activities. So all of the chats that you currently have and all of the chats that are currently being supervised, all your customers who are waiting in the queue, ones who are waiting for a reply, invited, and browsing. By the way, you can also create your own segment. Let's go do that. So once you have the filters set up, just like we did already, you simply click on save segment. Then you wanna enter the name of your segment. So I'm just gonna give this a name quickly. And then we click on create segment. And that's it, you've created your own custom segment. Now, if you wanna manage them, all you've got to do is go to the ellipsis in the top right corner, simply drag and drop. You can edit them right here or delete them. And now in your custom segment, you can see all the customers meeting the preset criteria. Let's move on to inviting customers. So your website visitors can be invited automatically through targeted messages, but they can also be invited manually in the traffic section. Let's see how you can invite your customers to chat. So the first thing you wanna do is go into, of course, your traffic section then you'll see start a chat where you can send a standard welcome message to your customer or you can also send a customized message by clicking on the pencil icon. I recommend you personalize your messages as much as you can since they usually have higher response rates. So that's that. And also please remember that when you invite customers to chat manually, the pre-chat survey will not be displayed even if it is enabled. Moving on, supervising chat. Chat supervision can be used to either check how your agents are doing or train and help new members of your team. To supervise chat, you want to go into the chatting segment, choose a customer, and click on supervise chat. Now you will secretly join the ongoing chat. The supervisor can also send suggestions to the agent right in the chat. These will be invisible to the customers. And that's it. You can oversee and switch between supervised chats back in the chats section. Let's move on to the team section. There are many things you can do in Teams, so let's go and check them out. To manage customers and agents, you wanna go into the Teams section. And you first have to have your agents added to the Live Chat Agent app. 
obviously. So here's what you've got to do. Make sure that they use a valid email. An agent's email cannot be changed. If an agent needs to change the login email, the owner or an admin will need to add a new agent account in the team section. Then the account set up for the old email can be deleted. So use a valid email. You can invite your team members by sending email invitations or sharing an invite link. Let's start with the first one. So to send an email invitation, you need to add your teammates' emails manually. You wanna click on invite agents. Now you can type in or paste the email or emails. Now you can select their role right here. And that's it. I actually wanna dive into roles a bit. There are three roles in live chat, each serving a different purpose. You can either be an owner, an administrator, or an agent. The owner has full control over the live chat license, including billing and transferring ownership. Admins have access to all features, but can't transfer the ownership. However, they can be granted permissions to access subscription. Both roles can access all groups, archives, and reports, but can only interact with assigned groups. Agents have the most basic role. They can chat with customers, supervise chats, and access assigned group data. You can learn more in the link below. You can also assign agents to groups. We're going to dive into that now. So groups are very useful if you have multiple departments handling different cases. They can significantly shorten the case resolution time and reduce transfers between agents in different departments. In the team section, you'll want to go to groups and select add new group. Now you can enter the name of the group. So let's say, and select the agents that you want to assign to the group. And then click create and you have it. You can create as many groups as you want. You can also assign one agent to multiple groups. If you wanna edit the group, simply go to the ellipsis in the right corner. Here you can edit the group or you can delete the group. By the way, you'll find a general group in your team section. It's the default live chat setup that includes all of your agents. You can't edit this group. Instead, you can replace it with a custom group using routing rules, which are URL rules that let you route chats from selected pages to specific groups of agents. You can also assign a different group to each site or page you use. Remember the second option for inviting team members that I mentioned earlier, sharing an invite link? So if you have an entire team waiting to join you in live chat, it might make more sense to send them an invitation link instead of adding them one by one. For that, go to the team section, and select invite agents, and then simply copy the invite link. Now, when your team member follows the invite link, they will see a sign up form. They need to provide their email, their full name, and password. Now, after submitting all the information and clicking on join your team, they will be redirected to their live chat account. And that's it. You've just invited your team members via invitation link. After you have all your team members on board, you can think of setting your agent's availability in bulk. So for that, you wanna select all the agents you need and then pick availability settings. You can decide if your agents should be available for chats as soon as they log into the live chat agent app or if they should have time to switch to accepting chats themselves. The last option is to set it according to working hours. The last thing I wanna talk about today is editing the agent's account. Now, apart from the availability or status after logging in, settings are specific for every single agent and need to be set individually. They can be edited by administrators and the owner at any time. Let's see how we can do that. So to edit an agent's profile, you wanna be in the team section and you simply double click on an agent or you can also just click the ellipsis and go into edit profile. Don't forget to ask your agents to add a profile picture. It's a little thing, but it makes a big difference to your customers. The conversation is a lot more personalized when you see who you're talking to. We'll stop here for today. We've learned a lot and have a lot to play around with. Make sure to turn on that bell icon and watch the previous lessons if you haven't. See you soon.